Hi everyone, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing another new makeup releases, Will I Buy It video, which is the series inspired by Samantha March, where I'd like to go over some of the new makeup releases, tell you my thoughts on them, tell you whether I'm planning on picking them up. I love doing these videos because I always think it's super fun to chat about new makeup releases. So if you are new here, then hi, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you found it. I upload beauty videos four times a week and I would love it if you subscribed. But for now, if you want to see this week's new makeup releases, will I invite video, then please keep watching. We do have some pretty exciting makeup releases. I did just move to the side so I can insert some photos on the screen like I always do. But the first thing I want to talk about is actually one that I'm quite surprised that I like. And this is from Too Faced. This is the new Better Than Chocolate Collection from Too Faced. And I think this looks super cool. First of all, I love the tin packaging palettes from Too Faced. I usually think they're pretty good quality and I really enjoy using them. Of course, Too Faced used to be famous for their chocolate bar palettes. It's kind of what got them on the makeup market, what made them popular. And I really like that they are redoing this collection because most people who have like the original chocolate bar palette don't use it anymore because it is pretty old. So I wouldn't really Really use that one anymore so I like that we're getting a new version of this and trend mode all the photos I'm going to be using are from trend mode and she uploaded a video of this so I will insert like a screenshot on the screen but I really like it I think it's super pretty we do have a lot of neutrals but we do have a blue and a purple and I feel like this is definitely a palette that I'm interested in I probably don't need it I probably have all the shades in my collection but I feel like it would be fun to get because I do like Too Faced palettes and at the same time it's also like a little bit nostalgic. There are also some new Coco lipsticks which have a white chocolate and raspberry scent. That sounds super cool. I kind of want to try one of those as well. I have never tried a Too Faced lipstick. I believe I have a like little sample card of their lipstick somewhere that maybe I should use to like try out the formula but let me know if you want to see a review from this Too Faced collection then I can maybe do that on my channel because it is one that I'm interested in getting as well. So that is a Too Faced Better Than Chocolate collection. In my Will I Buy It videos, I talked about how I stopped buying from Colourpop because I feel like they were just releasing so much and every time I would order something, by the time it had arrived, because I live in Europe, like three new collections at least have already launched and we're at the point where I'm still waiting for my Winnie the Pooh PR box. I'm waiting for the rest of my Winnie the Pooh order because it shipped separately. I got some like other bits on my order as well. But I was so excited about the Winnie the Pooh collab. I'm so excited about it, but I feel like it's already like old news because we already have two new Colourpop collections. Like how crazy is that? But well, let's talk about them. First off, this has already launched. This is the new Apricot Me Not collection from Colourpop. I thought I would like this, but I kind of don't because I feel like the shades are cute, but they're a little bit too orangey for my liking. I do like the shimmers in there, but at the same time, I feel like they all look pretty similar apart from that middle one. There are some new French Kiss lip creams, which I've never tried. I'm hearing quite a bit of good things about those, so maybe I should give them a try, but they do look nice. And there's also three new Super Shock shadows in the collection, which look pretty but nothing that I really need. It's cute but I don't need it. Like the Winnie the Pooh one I really need it and it really needs to arrive so I can play with it but this one I don't need so. But like I said we have another Colourpop collection and this was also posted by Trend Mood. It looks like this is a photo from like in Ulta Beauty magazine or something. But this is the new Colourpop Star Wars collection. We're getting a new Star Wars eyeshadow palette for $24. This is a 15 pan eyeshadow palette. There's also two Jelly Munch eyeshadows, some Luxe Lip Cream lipsticks and Luxe Lip Glosses. Now I really like that they are releasing like regular lipsticks in this collection because usually it's glosses or lip oils or lip stains or lip creams, but never really like a proper bullet lipstick. So I like that we're getting those in the collection. I let me start by saying I have never watched Star Wars so sometimes I see people complaining about things being underwhelming. I can't really speak about whether something is underwhelming from a Star Wars point of view but when I look at the front of this palette and then I look at the inside of the palette I think it's cute. I feel like the bottom left one and the top right one it looks like they're like a galaxy print in there which I think is super cool. 
I like that there's a deep blue matte in here and a blue like shimmer. There's reds in here. I mean, the other shades are maybe a little bit basic, but at the same time, like how much can you do with an eyeshadow palette? I think Colourpop is still like trying to target more the everyday consumer. And while super crazy colorful eyeshadow palettes may be nice for someone, I don't think they're the most wearable for like the everyday consumers. But I do get why Colourpop is putting like effort into the packaging and then keeps the inside a bit more plain and wearable. But I don't mind this palette at all, I think it's pretty. That being said, I won't get this because I've never watched Star Wars. Next up, we have the Makeup by Mitchell New Blush Lights. These are a liquid formula blush highlight hybrid in eight shades. Can be applied under base or over base. I know the Makeup by Mitchell blushes, the liquid ones, are super popular. I think he also has liquid bronzers in the same style. So I do really like that. I think these products are really on trend. I've never tried them, but I do like the theme of them and I think they look cool. However, I'm kind of surprised and a little bit confused by the shade selection of this collection. So from what I'm reading, their blush and highlighter hybrids, they all look super metallic though. I don't know how these would look on the cheeks, but they look like super metallic highlighters. But all of the shades I'm looking at are too deep for me to use as a highlighter. I just know that. I have a pretty fair to light skin tone, so I could never wear one of these as a highlighter. I saw a TikTok of someone who was wearing the pink one as sort of like the pink gasm blush from Charlotte Tilbury, but it looks a lot more intense. And I feel like for me, it's at the point where it's not really wearable anymore. So this is one I'm not interested in, but I am interested in seeing people actually use these. I would have loved if there were either more lighter shades or they would all be like blush shades or really bright shades so you know it's a blush. I feel like now it's a little bit awkward. Like, is it a blush? Is it a highlighter? It's kind of like none of them. So this is not a collection I'm going to pick up, but I am curious about the review. So that is the Makeup by Mitchell Blurge Lights collection. We then are getting a new concealer from Huda Beauty. This is the new faux filter concealer from Huda Beauty. And I'm kind of confused by this because it says this has a luminous matte finish. I don't really get that. Like something is either luminous and like glowy or it's matte and not luminous. So I'm curious about that, but it does sound nice. So this is another complexion product from Huda Beauty. I've never tried any of her complexion products, so I am curious about this. Also, I'm like looking for a new concealer, so let me know if any of you guys have a concealer recommendation. I would love to know that because I really need a few new concealers. This one looks nice, but I do want to see a review on this first because sometimes I know Huda Beauty products can be very full coverage, which is not what I'm into right now. I do want full coverage for like my under eyes, but I don't want it to look too heavy and fake. So, so this is one I'm going to watch some reviews on. I am curious about it, but I need reviews first. Speaking about concealers, one I was really excited about is this one from Say Beauty. This is the new Hydra Beam Brightening and Hydrating Under Eye Concealer by Say Beauty. And this has a lightweight ultra hydrating concealer that visibly brightens, blurs, and smooths skin to create an all over radiance finish. It comes in nine shades and it will be available the day this goes live, so on May 2nd. Now, I was super excited about this until I saw someone's review on it. And that was basically because the shade selection I don't think would work for me. It was a YouTuber that I watched. I think her name is the Rudy Berry or something. I will have her video linked down below if I can find it. But she got sent shade one and shade two and shade one was too light for her and shade two was too dark for her. And I think that would be the case for me as well. Shade one looks a bit too light for my liking and shade two looks too deep for me. So that is the reason why I kind of not want to pick this one up unless they expand the shade range. So I'm definitely going to watch some more reviews on this. Maybe when some other people review it, I'm like, I do want to give it a try. So we'll see about that. I did just order the Say Slip Tint, the Say Setting Powder, and then also the Liquid Blush. So let me know if you want me to do a video review on that as well, because I can totally do sort of like a brand review. We then have a new product from Sol de Janeiro. I feel like we've been seeing so many products from them and I've never tried anything. I did try their Bum Bum Cream in store once, but I've never like bought it or anything. But this is the Brazilian Joya Milky Leave-In Conditioner, a lightweight conditioning spray that hydrates, detangles, and fights frizz for up to 72 hours while repairing split ends and protecting against heat. So this is a heat protecting and leave-in conditioner at once. This is one I'm interested 
interested in. If it smells like the Bum Bum Cream, I think I do like this smell. So this might be one I'm interested in trying. I don't really own a leave-in conditioner right now. I do have the Olaplex number no. 6, but it's a bit more thick and I think I would prefer a spray like this. So. This is one I'm actually very interested in. This may be the first Sol de Janeiro products I'm going to be trying. And then the last thing I wanted to talk about was this new product from Pat McGrath Labs. This is the new skin line called the Divine Skin and this is the Rose 001 The Essence. So this says it's a by face milky essence so it looks like there's some sort of milk in here. But this you guys is retailing for $86. Dollars. This is something you use after cleansing, so I think it's just like a toner. I would never in my life spend $86 on a toner. If you spent $86 on like a super fancy serum or a super fancy moisturizer, that's something else. That's still like a lot, but I could, I could like imagine that. But $86 on a toner. This product has to be like magical in order for it to be worth it. I am going to be watching reviews on this, but I think I know it's not going to be worth the money, you guys. How can a toner be worth $86? I'm confused. Like, Pat McGrath just sticks to makeup. <laughs> Okay everyone, then this was it for this week's new makeup release as well as my video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this week's new makeup releases. Do you like them? Do you agree with my opinions? Or do you have a totally different opinion? I would love to know that. And if you did enjoy this video, then I would absolutely love it if you gave it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you don't miss any of my videos. All of these things would help me so much with my channel and I'd really appreciate it. But with that said, and thank you guys all so much for watching. I really hope you have an amazing day and I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye!